If you need to create a high quality website fast and you want to do it for free, then you've clicked on the right video. On Canva, there are hundreds of pre-made website templates that you can use to create your own custom website. There are tons of styles to choose from and each template looks professionally designed. Once you select a template, you can easily customize the text, graphics and other elements and publish your new website to a free or custom domain. In this complete guide, you'll follow along as I demonstrate all the steps to build, design, and publish a new website for free using Canva. I'll be creating a brand new website by customizing a Canva template and showing you the entire process to get your new website up and running fast. So let's head over to Canva and get started by going over how to access the website design templates. To access the website templates from the Canva homepage, we could go up to the search bar here and type in website. From the results, you should see a tab that says website with the little website icon beside it. If you click this, it'll take you to a page where you can view all the website templates on Canva. But also on the Canva homepage, if you look up underneath the search bar, you should see various icons. From here, let's find and select the icon that says websites. This will open up a page where you can view the various website template categories. And there are several template categories to choose from, such as business websites, portfolios, event websites, or education websites. For this example, I'm going to create a website that showcases my photography and videography services. So I think I'm going to select a portfolio website template. To view all the portfolio website templates, let's go over to the right hand side here and click the see all tab. This will take us to a page where we can view all the portfolio website templates that are available on Canva. If we look here, we can see that they currently have over 130 templates available and more are constantly being added. And if you needed to filter your results, you can do that using the tabs up top here to filter your templates by style, theme, feature, or color. So let's scroll down the page here and find a good website portfolio template to use for my website. As you can see, there are tons of different templates and each template has its own unique style. Each template is professionally designed with its own text, graphics, and other elements, which are all fully customizable. Most website templates will have several pages, which you can view by hovering your mouse over the one you want to view. Also, many of the website templates are free, but if you want to unlock all the templates, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. Feel free to browse through the templates until you find one that you like, but for my website, I think I'm going to go with this template here. Once you select a template, it'll open up a menu where you can view the template information and other similar templates. If you still want to go with your selected template, go over to the right hand side here and click the customize this template button. And this will open up your website template in the Canva editor. Here's where we can change the text, the graphics and the other elements to create our website. From the design tab on the menu on the left hand side, we can access all the Canva website templates and change the one that we're currently using if we like. But for my website, I'm going to stick with this one. So let's take a look at my website template. The template I selected actually includes six website pages. I have a home page, a brand information page, an about me page, a page where I can add the services that I offer, a page to display customer testimonials, and a website footer where we can add contact information and link to our social media brand pages. So to build a website for my photography and videography business, Let's scroll back up to the first page here and start by editing my home page. So to turn this into my website, the first thing I'm going to do is upload my logo. To do this, let's look at the menu on the left hand side here and click the uploads tab. Here's where you can upload any images or videos that you want to include on your website. To upload my logo, let's go up to the top here and click the upload an image or video button. I can then find and open up my logo and any other media I want to add as well. When you open your media, you'll see it start uploading in the menu on the left hand side. So now that I've uploaded my media, let's delete the default icon at the top left. And for my template text, many times the text will be grouped together. So let's select it and click the ungroup button to disconnect them. And I don't need the bottom text, so let's delete that. And for the main text on my homepage, I'm going to add my tagline of ignite your story. And in the blank space at the top here, I think I'll add my main logo. So let's go over to the Uploads tab and click my logo to add it to my template. I can then click and drag it to rearrange it and drag the corners to resize it. And while you're building your site, feel free to adjust and rearrange things as needed. So I have my logo here and my tagline, so now let's adjust the button. 
The default text on the button says work with me, but I think I'm going to change this to view portfolio. I want the button to link out so potential clients can easily click it to see my work. So now that I've edited my text, let's go over how to add a link to my button. Your button should be text and a graphic linked together. So first let's select it, then ungroup them. Now I can edit the text and the graphic separately. So to add a link to my text, I'm actually going to right click it and from the pop-up menu, let's select the link tab. You should then see a text field where you can paste in the link that you want to add to the text. I'm going to add the link to my portfolio, then click the done button at the bottom right. And a link has now been added to my button text. But I want my entire button to be clickable, so let's add the link to the graphic as well. To do this, I'm simply going to select the graphic and go through the exact same process. I could right click the graphic, but this time, let's click the three dots icon at the top menu here. This will open up another menu where you can access the link tab. So go ahead and follow the steps to paste in your link and add it to your button graphic. And there we go. Now when people view my website, they can click my button to be taken directly to my portfolio. So now that I've made my button clickable, let's make it a bit bigger so the text is easier to read. To do this, let's drag and select both the graphic and the text, then drag the corner to resize my button. And there we go. I think that looks much better. So I've added my logo, my headline text, and a link to my button. So now let's edit the graphic on the right hand side here. For the main graphic on my website homepage, I think I want to use a video. So to add the video that I want to upload, let's go to the uploads tab from the menu on the left hand side and click the upload an image or video button. I can then find and open up the video that I want to use. Your video should then start uploading in the uploads tab on the left hand side. Keep in mind, there are separate tabs for your images and the videos that you upload. So once my video finishes uploading, I'm simply going to click and drag it over to replace the graphic. There we go. The graphic in the frame has now been replaced with my video. If I double click the video, I can easily adjust it within the frame. I'm going to move my video down a bit so that it focuses mainly on me and my client. For your website videos, you can use whatever you like. But for my homepage video, I'm adding a highlight video of me working at one of my photo shoots. Adding a video to my homepage is a great way to grab website viewers attention and also to show off my services. If you select your video, you'll notice a toolbar appear at the top with various options. I want my video to play on repeat, so let's select the playback tab. And from the menu on the left hand side, let's select the play on repeat option. Now when people view my homepage, my highlight video will continuously play. But keep in mind, if you have your videos play on repeat on your website, make sure you don't have audio enabled. This could get pretty annoying to viewers. When creating your website, you also want to keep your branding in mind. This includes things like using your brand colors and fonts. So let's select my button graphic here and click the color icon from the toolbar up top. You can then use the menu on the left to select whatever color you want to use. For my button, I'm going to change it to red. And I also want to change the font for my heading text. So let's select it, then click the font drop down menu from the toolbar up top. Using the menu on the left, you can search for your brand font or browse the various fonts to find the one that looks best for your website. For my text, I think I'll go with this font here. I think that looks pretty good. Also, if you select your background here, you can use the color icon from the toolbar up top to change the color of your background as well. So for this example, I think I'm done editing my home page. So let's scroll down and move on to my next website page. I think I'm going to use this page to talk about my brand details and provide readers with information about my business. So first, let's select the top text here and change it to my brand name. I can then drag the corners and sides to resize and adjust the text box. Also, let's click and drag the text box up and to the left a bit. And for my second text box here, I'm going to add my brand details and follow the same steps to resize and adjust the text box. I think this looks pretty good, but I'm not really feeling the pink background. To change my background color, I could simply select it, then click the color icon from the top toolbar. But for my background, I'm going to use an image from the Canva library. So to access the Canva library, let's go to the elements tab from the menu on the left hand side. From here, we can use the text field up top to search the Canva library. Since my website is for my photography business, let's see if we can find a photography background. In the results under the photos tab, you should see hundreds of images related to the keyword you searched for. 
They have a lot of free images you can use, but to access all the images, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. To replace your background, simply select an image and drag it over. But when selecting a background, you don't want to choose anything that makes the text or graphics hard to see. So for my brand details page, I think I'll go with this background here. I think that looks much better. Let's adjust my text a bit so that it's inside the two lights on the side. So I have a nice background and I've added my text. Now let's find something to fill in this blank space here. Since I'm talking about my brand Fireshot Media, I think I'll just add my brand icon. So to do this, let's go to the Uploads tab from the menu on the left hand side. I've already uploaded my icon, so let's go to the Images tab and simply click my icon to add it to my template. I can then move it to the right location and drag the corners to resize it. Feel free to take your time and resize and adjust your elements until everything is exactly the way you want it. I think that'll work for my brand details page, so let's move on to the next page, which is the About Me page. Here's where I'm going to add my image and information about me as a photographer so my website viewers can learn more about me. The first thing I'm going to do is replace this image with the image of me. So from the Uploads tab, let's click the Upload an Image or Video button. I can then find and open up the image I want to use. My image will then be uploaded, and once it's finished, I can simply click it and drag it over to replace the image on my template. I think that'll work. So now that I have my image, let's add my About Me text. To add your text, simply select it and type in whatever you want it to say. And for my About Me page, I also have a button down here. So let's change the text and add a link so viewers can schedule a call. To add a link for people to schedule calls, I typically use Calendly. So I got all the basics of my About Me page done, now let's add some customization. I don't think I need to do much, but let's select the button, make it a little bigger, and move it over towards the center a bit. I'm also going to change my button color, so let's select the button graphic, and use the color icon from the toolbar up top to select the new color. I'm just going to go with red. I think that'll work for my About Me page, so let's continue to the next page, which will be my services page. Here's where I can show my website viewers the various services that I offer. So first, I'm going to select my top text here and change it to services. And for the text for my three boxes here, let's list all the services for my photography business and add a short description of each service underneath. Whenever you change your text, you may have to rearrange the text box a bit to line everything back up. So I've changed all my text. Now let's update my images. I'm simply going to go to the uploads tab and upload images that are relevant to my services. Since I have three services listed here, let's upload three images. Once they finish uploading, I can simply click and drag them over to replace the images on my template. When adding images to your website, make sure they're relevant to your brand and whatever you're discussing on the page. So the last thing I think I'll do for my services page here is change the background color. So let's select it and click the color icon from the toolbar up top. I can then browse and select whatever color I want to use for my background. For this page, I think I'll change it to a black background. I think that looks pretty good. So now that I'm finished with my services page, let's move down to my testimonials page. A testimonials page is a great way to show social proof to potential clients that visit your website. They can see what other people are saying about your business, which can make them want to work with you. So for my heading up top here, I'm going to change it to testimonials. I can then add my testimonials or client reviews to the text on the right hand side. I'm simply going to select three of my most favorite client testimonials and add their names underneath. And for my image here, let's go to the uploads tab and upload a new image to use for my testimonials page. Once it finishes uploading, I can drag it over and replace the image on my testimonials page. And to adjust your image within the frame, simply double click it and adjust it as needed. I'm going to move mine to the right a bit to show a little more of my camera. So I think I'm just going to stick with this for my testimonials page. So let's move down to the next page, which is my contact page or my footer. This page will include the various ways that website viewers can contact me or follow me on my social media pages. So for my heading here, I think I'm going to change it to contact information. I think that works better for my type of website. The next thing I want to do is add links to the social media icons here. To do this, simply select an icon and click the three dots tab from the menu above it. I can then select the link tab and paste in the link to my Facebook brand page. And once I click the done button, the link should be added to my Facebook icon. I can now go through the exact same process to add links to my other social media icons as well. And for my text at the bottom here, let's update it with the correct information. 
Let's change this write me heading to studio location. I think that sounds much better. And underneath here, let's add my address. All the text here is pretty hard to see, so let's select it all and drag the corners to make it a bit bigger. I can then move it back over, and I think that's much easier to read. So let's finish up with my text here by adding in my email and my phone number. So next, let's do something with this background here. To change my background color, let's select it, then click the color icon from the toolbar up top. I can then select whatever color I want to use for my background. But keep in mind, whenever you change your background color, you may have to change the color of some other elements as well so they don't blend in. In order to view my icons now, I need to change them to a brighter color. There we go. Now they're actually visible again. Also, I think I'll make my icons and the heading a bit bigger. And I'm finally finished editing all the default elements on my contact page. So for my website here, I've changed all the text, added my branding, added a homepage video, and added a few images. So once I finish changing all the main elements of my website template, I like to go back and add other customization as well. Feel free to add more graphics, more text, change your colors, your fonts, or anything else you like. Adding more customization can help improve the overall look of your website, add some personality, and improve your viewer's experience. So I've customized all the pages that came with my website template. Now let's go over how to add a new page. Adding a new page to your website is a great way to provide more information to your viewers that wasn't included in the original template. So to add another page to my website, let's go down to the very bottom here and click the Add Page tab. This should add a new blank page to my website. Once you add a new page, you can customize it however you like. Simply use the Canva tools to add new text, graphics, images, videos, or whatever else you want to include. Whether you want to make a new page to show off some of your products, your team members, or anything else, you can easily do that by creating a new page. So the next thing I want to go over is how to update your page titles. The titles you use for your pages will be displayed in your website menu, so you want to make sure everything is the way you want it. To update your page titles, let's look down at the bottom right here and click the little square icon. The pages that came with the template should already have default titles, but let's add a title to my new page. To add a title to a new page, simply click the little edit icon beside the number here. You can then simply type in whatever you want the menu title to say. And if you wanted to rearrange one of your pages, simply select it and drag it to your desired location. There we go. Now my new page will be displayed after my services page. So to preview my website and my menu, let's click the preview button at the very top here. Here's where you can view how your website will look after it's published. And at the very top here, we can see my menu with all my page titles. When a viewer clicks the title, they'll be taken directly to that page. This is a great way to check out your website and see if you need to make any changes. And using the icons up top, if you click the mobile tab, you can also get a mobile view of your website. But for now, let's close this menu and go back to my page view. If you wanted to delete one of your pages, you could easily do this by right clicking it, then select the delete page tab and my new example page has been deleted. Also, to change any of your page titles, simply select them here and type in whatever you want them to say. So once you're done editing your page titles and rearranging your pages, go ahead and click the icon at the bottom right here to go back to the Canva editor. So I've finished creating my website, now let's go over how to publish it. To publish your website, go ahead and look at the top menu here and click the publish website tab. This will open up a menu where you can select your published settings. Make sure you select to resize on mobile and to include the navigation menu. In the next section, we can use the icon on the right to edit our website URL. Here's where you can type in the subdomain that you want to use for your new website. Since we're publishing our website for free, our domains will start with our account name .my.canva.site followed by the subdomain that we type. You can use this web address completely free, but if you wanted to upgrade and get a new domain, you could click the link here. This will open up a menu with two different custom domain options. With the Canva Pro account, you have the ability to import your own domain. And if you like, you can use the next option to buy a new domain starting at only $18.99 a year. But for this video, we'll be publishing our website for free. So let's close this menu. So for my free website, the web address is going to be quantumdesigns.ma.canva.site slash fireshot media. So now that I've added my subdomain, Let's go down and click the tab here to edit our published settings. 
Here's where we can edit our browser tab preview and our website description. To add a website description, simply type it into the text field here. This should be a short description of your website up to 160 characters. And to edit our website name in the browser tab and add a favicon, let's click the edit icon on the right hand side here. You can then use the text field to type in whatever name you want to display for your website. And to add a favicon, which is a round icon that will appear beside your website name, simply click the icon here. So to add a custom favicon, let's click the tab with the plus sign. It's recommended to add a square image that's at least 280 by 280 pixels. For my favicon, I'm just going to use the icon for my brand logo. Once it finishes uploading, you should see it appear in the menu. So go ahead and select it, then click the done button. And my new favicon has been added to my browser tab preview. So let's click the preview tab at the top here and see how it looks. So now when someone has my website open in the browser, they'll see this in their browser tab. And at the very bottom of the menu here, we can also check out our advanced settings. If we click this, we can see a drop down menu with several different advanced options for our website. We can add password protection to our website, enable or disable search engine visibility, or disable the link preview when your website is shared on social media. For my site, I'm just going to leave the middle option enabled, which allows my website to be visible on search engines. So once you finish editing all your published settings, go ahead and go down to the bottom and click the publish website button. Canva will then start preparing your website and after a few seconds, your website will be live. For free Canva users, you have the ability to publish up to five websites. But if you have a Canva Pro account, you can publish as many websites as you like. So if you wanted to copy the URL for your new website, you could simply click the copy tab here. But I want to check out my live website and see how it looks. So let's click the visit website button at the bottom here. And here's my new live website that I just created and published for free. At the top, we can see my navigation menu where website visitors can click to visit each page. For my home page, my video will play on repeat and customers can click my button to view my portfolio. I think this looks pretty good, so let's go to the next page here, which is Fireshot Media Info. This is basically my brand information page where website viewers can read more about my brand. And if I click the About Me tab, it'll take me to my About Me page where viewers can read more about me and schedule a call. By clicking the Services tab, viewers can see the services I offer for my photography business. On the Testimonials page, viewers can read past client reviews. And finally, my Contact page, or my footer, contains my contact information and links to my social media brand pages. And I've added several links to my website, so if a viewer clicks my Instagram icon for example, they should be taken directly to my Instagram page. So after you've published your website and you start getting some traffic, you'll be able to view your website analytics directly in Canva. To view your analytics, simply go to your website in the Canva editor and click the Insights tab at the top here. Here's where you can view all the analytics for your website, including information about the views, the traffic, and the engagement. But keep in mind, in order to use Insights, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. So that's a quick overview of how to create and publish a website for free using Canva. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.